Hello and welcome everyone, Lan Hut here with part 14 of the Cymru Let's Play of Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for all your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. It's all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. Now before we get on into the gameplay, I just have to say a massive thanks to all of you guys for being so patient and for all of your support over the past few days regarding this series. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, over the weekend, uh, part 13 of this series, some of you might be actually saying, hey Lionheart, what happened to part, th part 13 of this series? It was entitled March on Winchester. Um, but yeah, part 13 received a false copyright claim, uh, which instantly took the video down over the weekend, and my whole channel received a copyright strike. Um, so I had to deal with all that. I won't go too much into the details of it. Uh, I did make a video a few days ago detailing what was going on and what have you. Uh, and actually announcing at the same time that I have a and I have a Patreon. Um, so if you want to, it is obviously completely optional. Feel free to check it out. Massive thanks to everyone that has already checked it out and has very kindly uh, pledged so far. Uh, there's a link to that in the description and comment section. But yeah, the long and short of it is, uh, it was a full false copyright claim. Um, which took the video down and then striked my channel in one foul swoop. Because it was the weekend, it was very difficult for me to get hold of anyone that could, you know, start working on it uh, to, to, to get it sorted out. Thankfully, a combination of a lot of you guys helping retweet various tweets at Team YouTube and, um, you know, offering to try and contact YouTube on my behalf, as well as my network manager um, actually writing directly to YouTube to their contacts there um, early on Tuesday morning of this week has resulted in that false copyright claim being removed. Part 13 is now back up again. It wasn't HD processed yesterday when it went back up, but it is now. So uh, part 13, I'll, pro I'll probably put a link to that in the comment section as well. You can also find it by going to the video tab of my channel. You'll be able to find it. It's obviously all playlisted as well, so you should be able to find it there too. So if you've missed 13, it's now back up again. Thankfully, it's all restored and the strike from my channel is gone. Huh, that was quite literally a saga that <laughs> the last few days. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen again, because um, that was ab absolute bollocks. Um, but anyway, I digress. Let's continue where we left things off. Obviously, end of part thirteen, I was like, oh, next time I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run the game with the with the beta patch. The beta patch has now been released. It is now the patch um, for the game. It is now the version of the game. So that's why I've got a few things to do with my economy and what have you. Uh, also. I want to say a special thank you to um, Merlin, Merlin Cooper, who reached out to me with a uh, with a video of how to pronounce this cavalry unit, which I've been calling Ulkelo or something like that, whatever. Um, Ichelo, I believe, is the closer to the truth of how to pronounce it. Ichelo, Ichelo. I'm still I'm still learning the pronunciation, but Merlin did a did a video on how to pronounce that. And um, these guys, or the upgrade for these Welsh Hunters is the Hellweir, I believe, which apparently I did pronounce right. Ichelor. Ichelor. Hopefully I'm saying that. So I'm getting my <laughs> uh, going, you know, rolling the R's and all that. Ichelor. Hopefully that's something close to it. That's going to be lots of fun. I'm just moving the Ichelor up this flank. Probably don't need to <laughs> give all of that. And I'm sure I've grossed you out with all my mouth noises. But you know what? I don't care. I'm just happy this series is back. Um, next episode, part 15, will be an hour long. It'll be an hour special, an early hour special, because I was reading some of the comments of part 13 and part 12, and some of you guys were like, is it going to be another early hour special? Can we do a like target? No likes uh, required for an early hour special at part 15 at this point, because I'm just happy we've got the series back and the false copyright claim and strike is gone. So yes, next episode, part 15, will be an hour special. <sighs> so yeah, obviously if you would like to leave a like on this video to be like, yay, the series is back, screw false copyright claiming bastards, then feel free to drop a like on this video. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's sort out what the crap's going on. Let's sort out our um, loyalty first, which probably can be done the usual fashion, the old estate fixer. Um, Southampton, in you go over there. Yeah, that sorts out most of the boys. Uh, there is a, a tweak to how estates work now that when you give it to when you give an estate to anyone that's not your king, uh, it costs a uh, hundred gold. So that affects things too. Uh, food has been hit pretty heavily, which is oh, oh so much fun. Um, but yeah, all these sort of balancing changes are, are there to, well, potentially make the game harder. Whether or not it actually will do, we shall see. We shall see. Obviously, for the best results, you should always start a brand new campaign. Uh, when these sorts of things happen, although 
Uh, obviously, we can't uh, do that here because I don't, wouldn't want to restart the series at this point. So we'll just uh, keep on playing um, and going on through doing the best that we can. It should it should have most of the changes in anyway, so that should be fine. Let's just upgrade those things. I'm not really, to be honest, paying attention because I'm kind of like, I've been out of this for nearly a, a week. Uh, I'm just like, uh, what's going on? And plus, obviously, I started my Hellebron series for the Dark Elves, Warhammer 2. So lots of lots of new things. So coming back to thrones, got to remember historical stuff. Uh, the gold mine is nearly done, which is good. We are Arthur's folk and I think we we pretty much moved everyone. I think, haven't we? Every man will do his I think duty. we pretty much moved everyone. I haven't moved you guys. You're replenishing still. Uh, I mean, the food is awful, but rather than disbanding like this whole army, I'm just thinking we just head on over and grab some more farms. At this point, it's probably it's probably easier to do that. Step up now. We will do you proud. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna bring these guys over because they can still grab single you know, they can still grab settlements and stuff. So yeah, we'll take the hit whatever that that does to us. It's minus five public order, my station supply, and minus thirty five percent casualty replenishment. Okay, so it's quite substantial. We'll sort it out next turn. Oh, and before I do end the turn um, one or two of you have said, could I hover over all these faction effects? Because you guys haven't uh, clocked them all or whatever for a while. So there you go. There's all the faction effects. I'll, uh, I'll just hover over them briefly so you guys can pause the video if you want to have a read. Of what all these faction effects are doing right now. Food surplus. Oh, no, that's, that's going to disappear. Probably <laughs> heroism is doing quite noisily for us. Influence. Yep. Yeah, all that. Goodness. So, yeah, I think that's everything everyone wanted to take a look at. Let's uh, end the turn and see what delights we have in store for us. Okay, what do we got here? We're dropping some heroism. We were two away from 100. Cultural benefits, plus 50% campaign movement range. Oh, hell yeah, for 10 turns. Done. Spent. Oh, we've hit our short fame victory just like that. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, quartermaster. Quartermaster, quartermaster, quartermaster. Um. Yeah, going into the. Oh, no, wait. Governor. Governor. Ah, no. Look at what you're doing, Lionheart. Governor, so we want a uh, scribe. That's what we want. Yeah, it's just low public order. I'm assuming because of the... Yeah, because of food being screwed over. So everyone's like, ah, we're all unhappy. Our income has jumped up again. We're at plus 3,724 a turn. Because we've got the gold mine upgraded. Thank you. So let's keep upgrading that because that will give us even. It takes a turn. Really? Oh wait, no. That takes a turn. Oh, I think it's maybe. I think Creative Assembly tweaked some of the building times. My warriors will not. Of some things. So some things I had building have had their times changed or whatever to bring them back in line with. Whatever the tweaks and changes are. So yeah, that that's now only got. Or maybe only had a turn left. That's taking weirdly a turn to upgrade. Is that always the case? That seems very quick to upgrade. That, yeah, it takes four turns to go up to tier two, and we were popping this one up to tier three from tier two. But okay, I I'm not going to complain. I'll uh, I'll take that change for sure. Right, let's go grab. We're sieging. We're sieging over here. Are we ready to actually go in and take it? Quite a quite a big battle to actually go for, isn't it? We've got all the oh no, we've got one more turn to wait for the medium siege towers. We've got these guys close by. Victory awaits. That's fine. I mean, we actually probably don't need two armies. We could just take these guys. Ah, oh, no, we can't reach them. Don't waver. Well, we'll move round. Yeah, we can knock away one of those armies. Victory I would have thought. Awaits. By no means. Just because I don't want to, I just I can free up another army this way. Oh, we could bring these guys in. Then he's got to run. 
command us for the glory of the Cymru. Right, Porchester. It's a. I'm assuming it's a port of some kind. A market. It does give some food. We will serve you well. Oh, what's, what's Midhurst? Midhurst looks like a farm or a camp of some kind. So, you know what? I'm actually going to go there because let's take out that army there as well of uh, Saxa. We'll just aggressively slay them. And occupy. My power and might grow. Right, so only minus 64 now. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. Oh, sorry. No, you're our... We're getting more command because we just need to get you up to top level of that and then you'll be... Uh, you'll have metal. We'll sort out public order in a minute because... Uh, what's that to do? Um... You have to grab that shortly. What about actually sailing in here? Taking to the waves. Fall upon them. We can sail on in here. Around their walls. One would hope. Oh wow, look at oh that is an a narrow one. Oh, that's like the we've done a, a siege on this before, didn't we? I think it was one of our early ones actually. Um, in fact, it was the siege of Abatifi, I believe. So we'll, we'll sail in there and have that one in a minute. That means if we want to sort out the public order, we really need to go and grab that this turn, because I think that's a farm. So let's go sort out that first, because that army, if it's still there, it's still there. It's not a massive deal. No, that was... Oh, it was, it was a cloth maker. Gives us plenty of money, but no food. Damn it. Yeah, well, you guys go over towards Porchester, so we'll be able to fix it next turn. Unless there's some food buildings in here. Maybe. So we don't have anyone else free, do we? No. Got Kent coming in over here. We will serve you well. Show us the foe. That does need repairing. Oh, if I repair it, it'll give us plus 80 food. Okay, that's pretty good. Right, sort out the public order as well. Public order, the loyalty. Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Oh, sorry, yeah, you have that estate. There you go, happy. Right. Sails trimmed and oars dipped. In we go, lads. Sail away. Let the battle begin. Thank you, Gandalf. It's raining. We're in deployment because my unwritten rule, as such, is that we go with whatever weather we start with. Because otherwise, you're always going to change it for something more favourable. So yeah, we're going to try it. We're going to land here. We could land with a few troops outside and then throw them through the gates. That's what we'll try and do. Everyone's hiding in the trees. It's fine. Right, two my ships. Oh, and one thing they've got is hide foliage now, which is a me I was just like, why was that not in straight away? Now you can actually see through forests and stuff. Much oh, I should say I'm using a another mod as well now, the uh, colorful shields mod, which was suggested to me by um, even more insanity. Grouping these guys up by their unit types, because I think that will actually work quite nicely for us. Uh, longbows, we can have you moving in afterwards. That's fine. We've got to hit the hit the beach with uh, with a f with force, I think. So I'm going to go in with the axes. Just move those long ships over there. So we'll have the axes. 
axes and the swords. Follow up with the valley spearsmen. The royal spears, I'm going to have you go outside and then land that way. And in fact, I'm going to put the longbows that way as well. There they are. So yeah, way more colourful shields in uh, enemy forces now. Which looks nice. See, the Thanes have lots of colourful ones. The Axemen, not so much. Just their uh, captain and their standard bearer. Which looks nice. What do they got over here? Javelins. And they've got a, a shield wall this way. So they, yeah, they're waiting for us to land. Will they see... Let's go into the gate over there. It feigns the wrong side of the barricade. But that does stop me looping on around behind them. Here and there. So the only way to get is all the way around this way. Which is... It's fair. Go, go, go. I'll tell you what. It might not hit the mark that much across the board, Thrones. But, God, it looks good. Off the ships! Prepare for battle! The ships pull back and we send in the spears to follow up. But we've got to get stuck in now. Oh, they're giving us a gap over here. Brought the thanes round. Grab that cavalry. Land! Royal Spears! Get that gate down. I should have probably used an axe unit, it would have been more effective. Oh, we sh. What the hell? We shredded that Thane unit! Or is it my archers? Something just obliterated those Thanes. I mean, over here we're going up against the Axes and what have you. We've got Axes, up, rather, going up against Thanes. Which is which is good. I'm going to say they got caught between some... Okay, they were also down to 30-odd, that's why. Come on, don't just sit there. That's it, get to that gate. 
Oh god! They've got burning oil now. The gates are opening. Ow, 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 ow. Thankfully it's not doing as much damage as I thought it might do. I think it's actually going just behind them as well, which helps. The battle is turning in our favor. It needs to fall more directly on top. We have captured the gates. Oh, we actually managed to capture the gates, I think. Because they didn't have any troops in here, so we were able to catch them from outside. That's a that'd be a bug, surely. Go, go, go! Oh, we're slaughtering our way through here. those javelins. Longbows. Time to land the ships. Get them swords. The enemy have captured the gates. Well, they got control of the gates again. For the Cymru! There we go, they've broken. Push them either side to clear a path for the cavalry. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't go in. I've nearly slaughtered my scout cab because they've got control of the gates. The uh Ah oh, god damn it. They got burning oil they can drop on me. I was doing so well and then had to do the usual Lionheart bumble, let's kill all my cavalry. The men have been routed. They are leaving the field. Ah, oh, damn, they managed to capture it. Okay, that screwed us over. Oh, my raw spears have been caught as well. Step, pull them back. Valley spears. Cover! 
enemies are back. Watch your command. Spearmen! Show us the foe. Double time, men. Cavalry! Sorry, Cav. Okay, well, we now know it works really well against cavalry. I managed to break a royal spear unit. May have even lost that one. I got too excited. That'll be the Royal Spear unit, which is bad, because we can't easily get them back at the moment. Bad Lionheart. A thousand men. Spearmen. Spearmen. Show us the bomb. We are the country. Pound the ground. Spearmen. Who needs thrashing? We managed to find their thanes. They're all over here. And we'll send the rest of the troops in to grab that victory point. Thankfully our Axemen are here, and they'll soon crush them. Slaughter them! He's fire. They're broken. Hold the gate. Our general is under attack. Ah, he's fine. Caught one fleeing troop. Facing the wrong way. Oh, you must have heard me.
spearmen. Double Take time, man. Down. Pick your speed time. Boom! Show us the bow. Now that's a charge. Slaughter them. The settlement is on fire. The ocean and that's victory. victory. Oh yes. Yeah, unfortunately we lost that Royal Spearman unit, which isn't so good. Thankfully all the cavalry survived in, you know, even despite me drizzling them with burning oil. Well, not me personally, but these guys. Devon. Could liberate. Dorset. Uh, no, we will definitely occupy. God, that sacking amount. Damn. Without question. Killed in battle. And our food deficit has gone up. Why is this? Oh, food production. Uh, rip. You guys do provide food. Repair, please. Repair. Oh, God, you're all about market stuff. But that's because you've got a lot of good market bits and pieces. Cool, 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 cool. Right, okay, well, that's not going to quite sort out our food, so we'll have another turn of it. Of public order issues. Which does risk rebellion. Pretty much everywhere, but I'm I'm gonna have to stick with it. I think, because uh, yeah, it's just it's just too good. Ah, uh, no raw spears available. Okay, soon hopefully. Hmm. At least the one I've just lost. Can't afford that one. Oh, it's fine because we're gonna what, two turns, two turns, then we get the um. Levy Melee Cavalry. Oh, that, that, they've renamed them, haven't they? Elite Melee Cavalry. Oh, no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Welsh Horse Raiders, yeah, 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 sorry. Sorry. That for the actual name. I thought they'd rename them from Welsh Horse Raiders to Levy uh, Melee Cavalry. Right, okay, you'll have to wait then for more stuff. We can sell you over to Isle of Wight, though, soon. Uh, assigned governor. You have less than 10 governors assigned. Oh, okay, so there's a limit on governors. I know there's a mod that instantly removes that. Was that always the case, or is that something this patch has done? Yeah, we're at 10 of 10. Is there no way to improve, increase that? Because Dorset, we definitely want to have... I imagine we can earn a butt-ton of money from here. Okay, yeah, so we want to go from somewhere down here that doesn't have much. So, Kernu, for instance. Yeah, you're not, you're about, you're not about insane amounts of income. Okay, so let's swap you around. Do, 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 do. Okay, remove from office, yes. Sign you there. Lovely. Probably could put a better governor there, but I think we'll just let him build up for a bit. Right, let's end the turn again. You can be bought, perhaps. We have coin. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Die. <laughs> oh, they're going to come and attack us or take a settlement? They're going to take a settlement. That's fine, because they've just moved away their support army from that settlement with the siege. Settlement sack. Hang on. 
It's at 320. Minus 320? The deuce? Noble birth. Idwal. Lovely. Um, is that because it's also winter? It probably Not is. Enough. Surely. Or is it because we repaired these so they all take more food? It might be that as well. Actually, yes it is. Look at that, level 5. Damn. Okay, so actually, I might have to... I might have to disband that, uh... That one. I don't think I can quite, uh... Well, that one isn't a port. I mean, we quite we can uh, maintain everything. My warriors will not falter. Battle calls. Send them go take the Isle of Wight for me. Ready to fight. You go take Without Porchester. As commanded. We will serve you well. Don't waver. This is hey, you just option. outside. That means I can Attack kill well. the garrison as well. Thank you. Still honoured. Every man will do his duty. As you say. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. Ready to fight. Right, let's go wipe Don't them out with this back. army. Warriors attack! Claim back our lands. Yeah, public order issues everywhere. I fully understand that that's a thing happening right now. Who they're behind us? Well, this is where I'm going to wrap things up for now, but you guys can decide whether or not you want to see the siege at the start of the next episode, part 15, which will be an early hour special, um, which will be out on Friday. So yeah, let me know in the comment section, do you want to see it for, or should we just all resolve it, seeing as we're absolutely going to slay them, or make it a bit more challenging, should we move our second army away and then just do it with one, Might offer a bit more. A bit more challenge, because we could always take this army away to go and hit Kent. And then move towards um, Buckingham. Buckinghamshire. For the glory of the yeah, there we go. And um, we probably, probably an instant fix for the. Um, glory us. The food problem is to disband this army. Because well. it's. It's costing 220, so it'll be 228. So, okay, it wouldn't completely fix it, but nearly, nearly enough. Uh, they've got Valley spent nothing in there amazing. So there's no royal units in there that I'd want to steal. So I think we could probably get away with doing that if we if we wanted to. Feel free to share your thoughts. But yes, as always, I hope you've enjoyed. Glad the series is back. Till the next one, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one. Ciao for now.